Good morning, everyone. My name is Hemalata Kineni. I I'm working at Tower Automotive for the last 12 years, Tower International for the last 12 years, and today I'm going to talk about use of Encode Design Life to reduce the weight and cost of chassis structures at Tower International. Tower International is an uh, Tower International is a global supplier of body structures, chassis structures. Our chassis structures experience I'm going to tell you in a few minutes. Uh, we are trying to diversify our interests into non-automotive fields like renewable energy and defense and aerospace industries. Okay. How we use design life and then what benefits we are getting being a part of ENCODE design life users. Um, these are the few points and uh, it provides fatigue life prediction from finite element re results to avoid under and over designing the products to simulate physical tests prior to prototype, investigate and resolve design manufacturing issues related to durability, reduce number of expensive physical tests and avoid costly design and tooling changes cost and weight of the structure reduction by optimizing the design through iterative studies. And uh, we are one of the suppliers who are very happy to use Design Life. Every day I run at least to 10 jobs using Design Life. Uh, I apologize for the blocking of those pictures. And this is one of the examples where we had an excellent correlation using Design Life to simulate the test cracks developed during the product development cycle. Then after, after simulating the crack lo location and uh, correlating the crack location, we try to give design improvements to fix the cracks. These are few uh, iterations we try to um, read to try to uh, simulate the material thinning to better correlate the results of and so design life with the test results. This is another example where not only fixing the cradle cracks and we we had an opportunity to work with the uh, test fixture which was cracked during the tests, testing schedule and then uh, created new cracks in the cradle. Then we tried to change the boundary conditions of the test fixture and try to evaluate the cracks and uh, gave some suggestions to the uh, test engineers to fix the test fixture. This is seam belt analysis using duty cycle. Um, we use, again, for 80 gated load set, we use absolute max principle and combined fast for event processing. Using the 80 gated results, we try to simulate the 10 gated load using critical plane and then event processing is, again, combined fast. So this is the flow where FE input is connected to seam weld analysis glyph and then data value display. So once the results are available, we try to uh, identify the problem areas and then provide design direction to the designers. We give mock-up design sometimes when the time is very short, otherwise we get the detailed designs made for further analysis. This is one case where we had combined um, length reduction, gauge reduction, and weld optimization to understand the behavior of truck frame, center rail, overlap joint, so splice joint. So we had done 10 iterations with the combinations to see which is better for the process as well as for 
um, optimization of the gauge and then uh, length. With the increasing use of high strength materials and the new federal CAFE standards for uh, 34.1 MPG by 2016, these standards are driving design direction towards lowering the thickness of the gauges and then lower weight so to achieve the improved uh, fuel economy. So keeping this in view, we at Tower, we are enjoying using design life and it's helping us to minimize the development time and cost associated with building prototypes. And we evaluate multiple design concepts in a short time with a quick turnaround. So we feel we are very happy customer. And then at the same time, I just want to thank everybody in um, and Ensoft Design Life Help Group for all their help and then quick response for our doubts and uh, helping us through our processes and day-to-day uh, -day activities. Thank you.